This video is sponsored by SellCashier.com. They compare iPhone prices on the internet and give you their instant quote and the most cash for your iPhone. Hey guys, this is Edward Teclarium. So just have this usual comparison here for you today. It's going to be a comparison between an iPhone 5S, which you see in the middle in the picture, and the iPhone SE that just came out, which you see on the right, right over here, which is a beautiful uh, little small form factor um, new device by Apple. Um, not a big fan of it just because it's so small, but I think what's going to be interesting to see is the difference in performance between the 5S and the SE. Uh, technically, the 5 is known to definitely perform much worse than the 5S, and there have been a lot of comparison videos on um, this versus that, which is the 5S, so I'm not going to worry about that, but we will look at the 5S in comparison with the SE. Another question I have for you guys, would you be able to tell the difference between these three phones if you um, didn't know which one is which ahead of time? Well, the answer is simple. There are a couple of subtle differences that you can actually, that will help you figure out which, which phone is which. Really, in the 5, you have a button here with no fingerprint scanner. So that's really what makes the 5 visually different from the 5S. And the 5S right here has the fingerprint scanner. Everything else is absolutely identical. And now you have iPhone SE with the fingerprint scanner, but it's easy to determine which one it is just because of the color. This one is rose gold. If not, it would have been exactly identical to a 5S if it wasn't silver. Anyways, without further ado, we'll set this phone aside and we're going to begin our comparison. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna check out how the browser works and how quickly it opens the website called weather.com, which is a weather channel, but it's very, very information rich and it's very, very dense. So sometimes even on a computer with very, very high end specs, it just takes forever to open up. Uh, both of these phones are on a secured Wi-Fi network. So I'm just gonna click on go because I already have the weather.com address, web address pre-populated on there. So if you guys are ready, set and go. So for some reason there is a delay in opening the website on a 5S and I think that it's not for some reason just because the phone is slower but clearly clearly SE works a lot faster even by just doing the navigating through the menus and the interface it just seems to be more nimble so this is definitely the winner and let's move on to our next test and our next test is going to be looking at how the camera works and how quickly you can take some snapshots with that so let's go ahead and pull up the camera app and we're just gonna focus on my Lumia 950, which is my daily driver, and just take some snapshots. So really there's no, no obvious difference in how quickly the phone takes the photos, although it takes just a fraction of a second longer for you to pull it up in the gallery. So flipping through the photos is pretty much seamless in both of them. You can probably tell by looking at both of the screens that the Actually, the brightness on both of them is turned all the way up, but the screen is so much better on the SE. So that's another major difference that you will find in these new phones is that the resolution is so much higher and the brightness is just slightly different. It's just a lot brighter and it's a lot more crisp as a picture. So camera does pretty well. Let's go ahead and try the slow-mo and see how we do with that. So on both of them, pretty much the way that it's recorded, when I move it around, it's just pretty much as smooth. So really, really 5S, the processing power is really just enough. So you're, you're paying money for this phone when you're upgrading from this into this, just for, probably not even for the looks of it, even if you get a rose gold one, but really just, uh, you know, if you do some gaming, that's probably what it's gonna be really helpful with, but overall, maybe picture clarity as well, but technically, as you can see in the camera in comparison, they pretty much do almost almost the same. So really, I, I would say it's, it's a win-win situation for both of them. So let's move on to the next one. And the next test is going to be the Antutu benchmark. And from the beginning on the left here in a 5S, you see that it's lagging. It's a bit fractionated. Uh, it's not as smooth as in the SE. So, We'll see the results at the end. Uh, we'll see what the score uh, is going to attain, but I can tell you that the score is going to be so much higher on the SE, and that's and that's really what you pay for. This is one of the major differences between this and that, which is the SE, which is the most recent one. 
But again, like I said, not a big fan of it just because it's so small and I'm so used to a larger phone like my Lumia 950. All right, guys, so as you can see, it's fairly evident that this phone is much faster. It's pretty much supersedes the 5S by by twice by a factor of two. So it, uh, this uh, SE scored 127,812, uh, while this only attained 61,221. So that's the actual score. And if you look at the detailed performance, you actually get the breakdown, but just looking at the CPU alone and everything else, it's pretty much pretty much twice as good. I think RAM is very close, almost the same score, different by uh, 2000. And that's pretty much what I wanted to show you with the uh, benchmark. So we're just gonna check out your favorite YouTube channel, which is Aquarium. I'm gonna click on the first video here, or should really go away from using the word click, really tap on it. So as you can see, major delay in opening up the video. Um, don't really expect much difference in the quality as you look at it, but um, but definitely, definitely delay on opening that. All right, guys, so I pulled out the maps over here just to see how quickly these work. I do not like the screen on this phone at all. Uh, this is so much brighter, so much crisper and clearer, but pretty much uh, the interface is fairly fluid. This, uh, there's virtually no lag on this at all. But for some reason, you know, to a naked eye, it just really looks like this is a little bit smoother. So again, this is going to be the winner. This is going to be a winner pretty much all across. But the only thing that it's not winning is really the, the looks of it, just it's really, it's the same. It's an identical phone. But overall, this is going to be the winner across all categories. As always guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. I wanted to tell you about sellcashier.com. So you just got your new iPhone. What will you do with your old one? You may be thinking of selling that on eBay, Craigslist, and so on, and it is definitely a hassle. Now you don't have to do that. Now you can sell it through sellcashier.com. They compare the actual prices of iPhones and give you the best price for your iPhone that you are trying to sell. And the good thing is, is that you are guaranteed the best rate. You also get a free shipping label. Thank you for watching and please check out sellcashier.com.